here we are in Tipperary and my name is Michael Hickey and we're here on the banks of the River Shore. This farm here is 100 acres and where we're standing now would be a wetland so it's uh, what we refer to as the inches here in Tipperary so we'd have inches of water at most times of the year. The farming system here is fairly extensive. We've been organic for over 40 years. We would keep Aberdeen Angus cattle. The farm is, is extensively run. We don't have a great deal of, of uh, arable land here. We'd have about 40 acres. The riparian zone is a transitional zone between watercourse and land. Here on the farm, we would have a riparian zone in wet grassland. We would also have it alongside the river and we would have it in woodland. What we're looking at here is we're looking at a riparian zone in grassland and this is actually a riparian zone in, an, in the acre scheme which I'm part of. Behind me here we have a typical example of that. We did this, this work about four years ago and now as you can see the pond has completely uh, planted itself so we have bulrushes here behind me, we have purple loosestrife here on the other side some mint here and, and various other types of, of, of plants. This particular riparian zone, we have, we have put the fence 1.5 metres out from the water's edge. And so the management of this is, I suppose you could describe as extensive. We don't actually do anything to it. Our main job here is to keep the fence clear. So along this riparian zone, we would have a lot of different plant life. I, I noticed a lot of birds in, in here in the bulrushes and so forth. Uh, frogs will, will use this we never graze this and we never top it because and as i say our main job here is to keep the fence clear so once we do that there's no necessity to get inside the fence and i've chosen the 1.5 meters for my specific system because it suits our system very well the benefit of the riparian zone for me is as i stated already this land would be inundated with water so by, by having a riparian zone here, I have allowed the land to dry out much earlier in the spring and stay drier later in the autumn. So it means that I can graze this ground for a much longer period. And I've also found that the grass growth here is tremendous. We use this in the dry period in May and June, and we would have grazed this, there would have been eight hectares here, we could graze this for six weeks. And in previous years, I would only get three weeks in the entire summer. So again, in the autumn, I will do the same again. So that has allowed me a huge benefit, uh, having this riparian zone and this, and this waterway along here. We have here a different type of riparian zone on the farm. This is a woodland riparian zone. As you can see, the canopy here extends out probably 15 meters from the river's edge and maybe five to 10 meters from the actual fence. This allows a tremendous amount of shade for the cattle. It provides a habitat on the farm for animals and for birds. We have otters here. We have lots of different types of, of birds and animals that wouldn't be here if that weren't the case, if we didn't have this riparian zone. Um, if we go a little closer, we'll see what benefits, what benefits the riparian zone actually has for the farm here. So we're actually standing in what used to be the river here where I am, because what's happened over the years since we created this riparian zone is that we have a silt buildup here and it has allowed the bank to actually increase in, in, in depth. So if we look across the river, we'll see that the bank on the other side is being undercut by the river, which is fairly furious in, in the wintertime and that has resulted in a loss of land on that side of the river. So this is a perfect example of how a mature riparian zone in a woodland along a river actually protects and maintains the bank along the river. And here we are in fact in land that has been created by the riparian zone, which is an added benefit. This riparian zone would have been fenced off about 20 years ago, and initially there was a lot more management involved simply because it was new to the system and it required that we obviously put the fence in place and that we keep it in good condition. Uh, but now we found that as the trees have grown up and so forth, that that requirement is not so onerous because now the, the fence <laughs> for the most part maintains itself. So every year I would have to go along and just simply clip along the fence and make sure that there's nothing lying on the fence itself. But we haven't had a problem with intrusions from animals or any of the rest of it.
This is another type of riparian zone and what we have here is slightly different. We have a, a spring uh, stream that rises somewhere in the bog further down the, or what's euphemistically called a bog, but it's actually a wet grassland down the, uh, the, the farm. And it comes along here and we have a kind of a T-junction where it splits and moves in two different directions and ends up in the river. But the area that this, uh, this riparian zone exists in is a kind of a, what you'd call a, a sacrifice area, because this area was not used, or was, would have been difficult to use commercially because it's quite wet during the winter, but it makes for a nice elevated roadway along the side of the stream, gives me access to the farm. Along the stream, we have various types of trees. We have hazelnut, we have ash, we have lime, and we have lots of ferns, lots of different types of ferns. We have, we've even got a couple of tree ferns that I think are trying to exist. But other than that, it's just what grows naturally here. We haven't had to plant in any of that, any of this stuff in here. It grows here naturally. The benefits that they produce for me are, are, are legion because it pr produces an area like this where I can sit and reflect on my daily tasks or whatever are on my way to to my home and uh, around me is everything that I need in nature it's 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 absolutely idyllic so I think the the benefits although they may not be obvious immediately in commercial terms are huge in terms of my well-being and I think that's something that's not perhaps appreciated enough in on our farms because most farms have wonderful areas that can be cultivated for nature if given a chance, especially along waterways. And having riparian zones, it'll allow people perhaps to experiment that. Uh, the obvious advantages here from a farm like this is shelter. There's wonderful shelter in winter. Uh, it provides shelter in the summer for livestock, uh, in the winter time for the horses that we have here. They never have to go in. They always have canopies that'll, the ivy covered canopies or whatever. So there's places for them to, to, to live. In terms of efficiencies and so forth, I would say that the grassland has been improved enormously by having shelter and shade. Uh, people would say because it has shade that it doesn't grow early in the spring, but I find that that's not true. Um, I find that the, the grass over the years since I've been here has improved year on year. And if the, stock levels are kept in some kind of uh, harmony that uh, there's always enough. So here we don't have to shed until uh, the 1st of December and our animals are out again in March. So that creates a fairly short winter for me, although we have quite a wet farm. If we're talking about uh, riparian zones and their benefits, we'd be looking at things like the catching of pollutants that might filter into the waterways, and that's hugely important now. Uh, riparian zones allow you a gap between your, your cultivated ground and the actual waterways. And we, we looked earlier at stabilizing riverbanks, and that's a huge feature along a fast flowing river because you'll tend to have erosion in a huge way. So where you have trees that are bushes that are holding the ground, you're not going to have that problem. And hugely important, of course, is carbon capture, something that's becoming uh, into vogue now and which is timely. Um, carbon capture in, in this kind of situation is massive and is way underestimated. So we would hope in the future that that will be of commercial value to us. Importantly, and most important in my case, would be that the habitats that riparian zones provide are huge and they have extended our, our habitats here. For a lot of farmers who have low-lying land, uh, riparian zones might be an answer to problems that they might have with boggy land and so forth. And by, by fencing it off and by, by perhaps cleaning a channel, they might be able to leave it rather than do too much to it and allow it, like, nature to cultivate it and to plant what it requires in that area. And they can have all the benefits that they will accrue over the years. And for, for farmers who, who want to do something like this, it's, it's a question of just looking at their land in a slightly different way and being courageous enough to just simply go with the ideas that they have. <music>